What is the most overlooked sign of a heart attack for people with sleep apnea? It can triple the risk of a heart attack. And luckily you can take super easy steps to reduce this risk. And it's pretty surprising because it actually starts with your mouth. So here's a study if you're a nerd and here's the main thing to talk about is that if you have plaque or gum disease, it will lead to a lot of different things like inflammation, but also bacteria can then enter your bloodstream and this will cause extra strain on your heart, which is why the studies show it can triple your risk of a cardiovascular disease, especially if you have sleep apnea. I'm not just gonna be your mom and tell you to remember to brush your teeth. We'll go a little higher level. Always talk to your dentist about doing things with your mouth. Number one, a water pick. Water picks have been shown to reduce a lot of the gingival inflammation and also bacterial growth. Number two is a mouthwash that is not alcohol-based, but instead more herbal-based. I'm not affiliated with these guys, but this is a great product. And number three is preventing your mouth from drying out in the morning, which typically comes from mouth breathing, which is very common if you have sleep apnea. Now to help with your breathing at night, clicking up here so you can get a step-by-step -step breathing plan so you can have the most progress in the least amount of time and least effort. So click here or go to the website over my face.